Hi, I'm Romain from Splash Team and I'm with Marie. Hi, I am Marie from Splash Team. Let's talk about our new game, Tinykin. In Tinykin, you play as Milo, a scientist from another planet who is looking for Earth and accidentally lands in a house that is very big and frozen in time. Milo has to collect hundreds of little creatures named the Tinykin to explore this mysterious place, solve puzzles, and find out what's happening before getting back home. Tinykin is a puzzle platformer with a lot of exploration, which means you'll visit a lot of places and see what you can reach and get to. Milo can use the Tinykin to expand his abilities and, glad for him, you'll find new species with different powers in every room. Like the green Tinykin that can stand on top of each other and help you reach higher places. All the pink ones that are stronger than Milo and can lift objects bigger than him. But they are not the only ones. There's even more that you'll discover all along the game. Just remember this. The more Tinykin you have, the more they will be able to do. Now, let's talk about Milo and some of his abilities. Milo has a tiny skateboard that is made out of soap. He can glide around and grind around objects, providing great shortcuts if you know how to look. This can help when you need a faster way to get around the house. Because, yeah, it's a really big place. Along Milo's journey, you will be looking for components of a mysterious machine that will help him going back home. You'll also find artifacts that tell the story of who used to live there. Insects in each room want you to collect things in exchange for upgrades to Milo's abilities. There are lots of people to meet and side quests to do. That's a brief glimpse at Tinykin's gameplay, but soon we'll talk more about the characters, the side quests, and the core mystery of the game. So we hope to see you then. Tinykin is coming to PC and consoles in summer of 2022. Where did I put it? Aha. Whew. Let's go. Riders, police, open up. Uh, 
nobody's home. Imagine you have an army. No, not that one. <laughs> this one. Pathetic, isn't it? Your task is to lead this army and make it to the end of my endless dungeon. You will encounter exciting new trials in each room, like starvation. Or these little zombies. Or these glorious robots. Or this ugly thing. Did I make that? Really? What even is it? If you want to survive, you'll need real weapons. And we have tables. And refrigerators. And a pretty princess costume. And lots of other stuff. So yeah, you'll be fine. No worries. All your fights will happen automatically. This means you will have to plan ahead. You can place your humans differently, arm them, or even mutate them. Do what you want. As soon as you think you're ready to feed my monsters, start the battle! Come on, my sweets. Crush those puny humans! Come on! No! No! Well, maybe next time. If even my monsters can't stop you, then you can fight other players! Create the best army you can, experiment, and show everyone who's on top around here. Oh, wait, it's me! I'm on top here! I'm the despot! <laughs> Welcome to Trash Sailors. The world was flooded by a trash tsunami, and now you're stuck in the middle of the ocean. But don't worry. All you need is a tight-knit team. First of all, you need to find trash. Lots of trash. Use it as fuel to repair your raft. You can even shoot it. <laughs> Go on, try it. Yes! <laughs> Great shot! Boom! Navigation is the key to successful trash hunting. You can steer the ship by yourself, in a pair, or as a whole team. To the right! <laughs> Left. Oh, you sons of a fried shark! We need massive amounts of trash, so you'll seek it out across the whole world. From the hottest jungles to the icy Arctic. <laughs> On each level, you'll have to find pirate maps and try not to sink. Sounds easy? Then get ready to fight for every last piece of trash. You'll encounter hundreds of enemies on your voyage. They'll damage your raft, steal your trash, or try and eat you. Open fire and defend your raft and your friends. And if you feel like things are getting too hot, or just want to relax with some trash, you can always change the difficulty whenever you want. If you made it through the fight and stocked up on trash treasures, that means it's time to go shopping. You can buy new weapons, upgrade your equipment, or decorate your raft to make everyone else jealous. You can buy my latest invention, an anchor. Here, try it out. And now this is fun. Uh, 
figure I'd mentioned the weapons already. Oh, oh. Scepter is yours then. have learned that I am weak. I have been jealous. I have been wrathful. I have been lazy. All the things the seven sins stand for and I have paid dearly for it. And I remain stranded on Earth. So when you speak of hope, Hope is lost.
neighbors, the Mawir caretakers, have evolved what scientists believe to be phototrophic traits. And, according to reports, their ancestral cultivation techniques are turning a near-dead arid planet into a lush Gaia world. We are seeing new traditions taking shape all over the galaxy. The options to choose our way forward seem greater than ever before. In other corners of the galaxy, Fungoid species are thriving on dangerously radioactive planets. An empire founded by former clone soldiers has taken to the stars. Their leaders continue to artificially enhance their genome in the clone vats. Reports say that the necroid reanimators have found a way to bend even the Tianqi matriarch to their will. galaxy is ever evolving. Who knows what is yet to come? I have many regrets. The Institute is not one of them. Excuse me. Chris, I presume. Anera. Hey! Wait! Hey, do you do you hear that? It's the lake, isn't it? They found bodies. A lot of bodies. Hey! Is someone out there? I just... I just want to get out of here, please. Send help. Isaac, please! I'm begging you! Survivors, together we've already achieved so much, but there's no time for stagnation. It's part of our DNA to consistently improve ourselves, to move forward and demand higher standards. We heard you. Thus, we came up with new production sites to meet the newly developed demands of our people. The sand mine and concrete factory supply the raw material for building homes that are far more comfortable, making it an even better place to live. And the pumping station is yet another big improvement. Connected to an upgraded water tower, it provides for an autonomous water supply. No more hassle. As you can see, prosperous times lie ahead. Be part of it, and stay tuned for more news, fellow survivors.
Our second major PlayStation 5 system software update is rolling out globally alongside new features coming for PlayStation app, the PS Remote Play app, and PlayStation 4. Here are eight things you need to know. The new PlayStation 5 system software update lets you customize the control center more freely by rearranging or choosing which controls to hide or unhide at the bottom of the screen. You can now easily view and write messages to friends and parties directly from game base in the control center. You can also see how many of your friends are online, busy, or offline under the Friends tab in GameBase, as well as accept, decline, or cancel multiple friend requests at once. On both PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4, you now have the ability as a party owner to disband a party without having to remove players individually. If you have different platform versions of the same game installed, they'll now appear separately in the Installed tab of the game library and on the home screen. Each game's tile now clearly indicates its platform. If you're streaming games through PlayStation Now, you can now choose between 720p or 1080p, depending on the individual game, to select your preferred video resolution. And a new streaming connection test helps you identify and troubleshoot connection issues. The new update also adds 3D audio support for built-in TV speakers. Once enabled in the sound menu, this feature transforms standard two-channel TV speaker audio into three-dimensional sound, heightening the sense of gameplay immersion. You can measure the acoustics of your room using the microphone on the DualSense wireless controller to apply the 3D audio setting that's optimized for your room. The new update includes the ability to expand storage capacity with an M.2 SSD. Once installed, an M.2 SSD lets you store and play PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 games, as well as media apps directly from the expanded high-speed storage. You can also freely move games between storage options. M.2 SSDs for PlayStation 5 must meet certain performance and size requirements and be paired with a compatible cooling structure such as a heatsink, so be sure to check out the link in the description for details. In addition to these PlayStation 5 updates, we're introducing some new features for the PS Remote Play app and PlayStation app. You now have the option of using a mobile data connection when playing games through the PS Remote Play app, whether the app is connected to a PlayStation 4 or a PlayStation 5 console. This means you can control your console remotely whenever you have a high-speed internet connection using either mobile data or Wi-Fi. To help manage the amount of data used through a mobile connection, you can select your preferred video quality for mobile data streaming. Check out the blog post linked in the description for details on internet speed requirements. If you're a PlayStation app user, you'll soon be able to view your friend's share screen broadcasts on the app, enabling you to chat and watch your friend's gameplay together. To start, join a party voice chat from your mobile device with a friend who's playing on PlayStation 5. We're just scratching the surface of the new updates, so check them out and let us know what you think. Hey everybody, my name is Thaddeus Cruz from the Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl development team, and today I'll show you the moveset of the Texan karate fighter and scientist, Sandy Cheeks. Sandy is a hyper-aggressive brawler that likes to stick close to her opponents and keep hobbling at them at point-blank range. Her specials allow her to cover a lot of ground to pursue opponents, or to quickly retreat when she's in a tough spot. Y'all better not take the name of Texas in vain. Let's start this rodeo with Sandy's light attacks. Sandy's light neutral is... Double Jab. The first jab only deals damage, while the second does considerable knockback. Her light up is Uppercut. And her light down is Tail Swoop. This move hits both sides. Use it when you're not sure which side your opponent will end up on. Let's talk about Sandy's air light attacks. Sandy's light neutral air is Two-Way Punch. You can combo this move into itself to keep sending your opponents off the stage. Sandy's light up air is... Aerial uppercut. Sandy's light down air is... Downward kick. Sandy's light dash attack is... Acorn tackle. We had to include an acorn somewhere. 
One cannot talk about martial arts without mentioning Sandy's strong attacks. Sandy's strong neutral is kick punch combo. She kicks forwards and then quickly rotates 360 degrees with a backhand fist. Sandy's strong up is punch kick tail combo. Sandy's strong down is karate chop. This slower attack will turn opponents into mincemeat. Let's go over Sandy's air strong attacks. Sandy's strong neutral air is bicycle kick. The attack moves you forward in the air a bit, which makes it a good option when recovering. Sandy's strong up air is upward stomp. Sandy's strong down air is tail spin. Launch your enemies upwards with this move and then combo it with her strong up air upward stomp. Sandy's strong dash is shell sandboard slide. And now, let's look at a curious mix of sci-fi technology and Texas Rodeo with Sandy's special attacks. Sandy's neutral special is... The Sheriff. She throws a lasso to catch and pull in an opponent. The Texan way. This move is a great way of connecting those slower, stronger attacks she has. Sandy's up special is... Rocket Pack. She flies upwards with the jetpack, hitting opponents on her way. Execute the move a second time while flying to do consecutive launches sideways or downwards. Sandy's down special is Extendo Boots. She activates her Extendo Boots to increase her height and punch upwards. Trigger the move again to retract her boots while staying at the top. This even makes it an interesting mix-up option when recovering. And finally, Sandy's Taunt. Sandy's stage is Glove World. This is a medium-sized stage with a chasm in the center, a middle platform, as well as a Ferris wheel with four additional rotating platforms. Be on the lookout for the occasional roller coaster cart. They'll hit like a truck. And now, let's watch Sandy show off her martial arts skills in a real match. Play nice. Three, two, one, go! That's gonna hurt. Results are in, and the winner is Sandy. And that was Sandy. Thank you all very much for tuning in to this character showcase, and please look forward to more like these in the future.
play it on the all-new Xbox. これでみんな見えてるかなよし大丈夫そうだねいやあ僕の名前はピュー今までいろんな実験に付き合ってもらったけど今回やっとその成果を見せられそうなんだ最高の気分だよタイムパトロールのみんなにはどう映るかわからない
shining child adrift on strange seas. For with time, these starless currents, black as morning, may work a sea change. And if one grisly dawn, the sky should hurl you, herald-like, back to Earth, remind us, foundling, of what we immaculate ones have lost. Diseases kiss may bring my festering demigod, my Nidus. This whole island's like a broken record. Skipping endlessly on one fulfilling day. Everybody chose to be here, Colt. Blood on the mind, life on ice, call it paradise. Nobody's gonna thank you for destroying paradise. Looking for a sign on the mind, on a cycle time. Then it's on me to end it for all of us. Enjoy the beach. Come on. Tomorrow never comes if you can't pay the price today. Don't hide your true self. Very impressive. 
offensive. It's the combat kit. Dance with me. You have no idea what's out there. Sure I do. Freedom. We're never getting out of here. I'm on the 